Hi. Welcome to Ghost of a Tale, any percent. Started. So in this game, uh, you're a cute mouse who's locked in a rat jail, and uh, somebody busts you out, and you need to go find your wife. We're not really going to see any more of a plot than that. So, uh, three, two, one, go. So we wake up in the jail cell. Uh, pick up this key that somebody's hidden for us. So we need to use this door to lure over this guard. And then I can, uh, let's wait for him to walk over. We need this, this key. But unfortunately we can't open this door right here because it's locked with a different key that we can't get yet. So we just have to wait for him to actually walk over and open it up for us. Uh, it doesn't matter if he sees us now. Uh, but we're, uh, we're gonna grab a few bottles. Uh, they're used to actually knock out guards. It doesn't really matter that he's chasing us. We're more concerned with this guy because he's in the way. We also need to knock down this key. So I'll just get through this door. Uh, one useful thing that you'll note is whenever a cutscene is happening, you can actually open and close your menu, and that gives you controls. You can also open and close a map if you have a map. Uh, that lets you move around during a cutscene or during a animation or anything like that, which is very useful. So here we have another locked door that we need to get past. It's gonna pickpocket the guard right behind him. And then we have this final boss here. All right, we got past him. So, now we've escaped the jail. Now we can go ahead and move on out of here. Uh, jumping in this game is very silly. You can just kind of jump up walls and things, and come up here and now you're out of bounds. So our goal now is to make it up there to the top of this area. You can't actually just go inbounds through the, uh, the whole area, but it's kind of slow. So we're just quickly going out of bounds to skip some of the climbing. Uh, now we meet the person who actually left us the key to get out of jail. He has a whole bunch of plot stuff to talk about. Well, we don't actually really care about all this plot stuff. Our only goal here is to actually get inside of his house where his his uh, bed is. We have to quickly do a couple, a couple little tasks for him. Now he's given us the key to his house. We can go in here and can first pick up this map. And more importantly, we can go up to this bed. Okay, it just dropped me down. That's fine. So now, uh, by opening the map, while we have this dialogue, dialogue box open, we can gain control while we have the sleep menu open. And here we can just fall to our desks and then confirm the sleep. And it'll actually, even though we're dead, it'll still make the autosave, which we can then load. Uh, now that we've loaded a save after we've been dead, the game doesn't really know how to kill us anymore, which is convenient, because uh, we're going to do something very foolish now. Uh, this fire steel that I picked up at the start of the run, it's very useful. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to let us fly. So we're just going to kind of fly off into the distance here. Uh, that's good enough. And then we can just fall straight down uh, into a debug room. Oh no, we're dead. Never mind. We're back alive. Yep. Perfectly healthy. And here we have uh, the end of the game. Uh, so this is the debug room. Uh, this has uh, a whole bunch of different items and stuff that you can get in the game and a whole bunch of different dialogue boxes and stuff so you can kind of jump around throughout the quest or throughout the main quest and this is basically the end of the game that we're triggering here uh, so now that we've done this it'll actually warp us to where the end of the game takes place 
And it's acting like we just beat the... Not, not the final boss, but the final section of the game. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and have a nice little chat with all these people that we've never really talked to before. Talk to this guy once, that's about it. Uh, also, there's a ghost. Uh, yeah, that's it. We're done. That's the game. And since you technically died, uh, you're you're still you're still dead. There goes a dead Tilo in the boat away to find his wife. That's uh, that's Ghost in the Tail. Ghost of a Tail, not Ghost in the Tail. Very quick run. Uh, it is technically possible to not worry about getting access to the bed and doing the reversible death glitch. Uh, you can actually just jump and try to land in the debug room and just hope that you'll survive. It's possible, but it's really rare, so that's not very fun for a marathon. But that's it for this game. Uh, there's another category where you don't use the debug room. It's about an hour long. It's way more interesting. Got a lot more glitches and things in it. And it's a lot less stupid. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, make sure to buy this game. It's mostly made by one person. It's a very, very good game. The, uh, what you'd expect. It is a little rough around the edges, but it's, it's very charming. I do enjoy it.